Chapter Seven, England. In 1616, Pocahontas, John Rolfe, and their son went to England. Ten of her people came too. After seven weeks on the ship, they arrived in London. How big London is! Pocahontas said, "There are hundreds of houses here, and thousands of people." London was very noisy and exciting. Pocahontas was interested in everything. She went into the shops and looked at the food and the dresses and the books. She went up and down the River Thames in a boat, and saw the big houses of rich people. Every day, she saw something new and wonderful. But London was very dirty too, because there were so many people. The river was dirty, and the water was bad. Two of Pocahontas's people were ill and died. But Pocahontas was happy and excited. Every day she visited big houses and talked to rich and important people. Everybody in London wanted to meet her, to talk to her, to be her friend. The King and Queen of England heard about John Rolfe's wife, the Indian girl from Virginia, and they wanted to meet her too. So one day, Pocahontas went to visit King James and Queen Anne. They asked her about her father, Powhatan. My father. Is the king of the Algonquin people," she said. "He has many men and villages, but our country is quieter than England. Our people understand the forest and the animals and the rivers. You can learn from us, and we can learn from you too. We must be friends." Of course we must," King James said. "Jamestown has my name, so I'm very interested in it." They talked for some time, and then his wife, Queen Anne, said, "I have a letter about you, Pocahontas. It's from a man called John Smith." He was your friend," he says, "when you were a little girl. Is that true?" For a second or two, Pocahontas could not speak. Then she said, "A letter from John Smith, but he's dead." Queen Anne smiled. "Dead." No, he's here in England. Look, here is the letter. The queen looked at Pocahontas. What's the matter, my dear? Are you ill? No, no, I'm all right. I'm very happy. But that night. Pocahontas could not sleep; she was very excited. John Smith was not dead; he was alive, and in England. But where? Two days later, John Smith came to see her. He was older, of course, but she remembered him. A little man, not tall, but interesting, exciting, alive. He smiled at her with those beautiful blue eyes. 
Hello, Pocahontas, he said. Do you remember me? How could she forget him? She looked at him, but said nothing. John Rolfe watched them. It's John Smith, my dear, he said. Are you happy to see him? But Pocahontas was not happy. No, she said. I'm sorry. No. She looked out of the window at nothing. She couldn't look at John Smith. John Rolfe went out, and Smith waited. After a minute, he said, You are a wife now, and a mother. Yes. Pocahontas looked at him and tried to smile. Do I look different? he asked. I'm older, I know. No, you don't look different, she said. But why did you go away from Virginia? I had an accident, he said. I was very ill. So I came back to England, and after two years I got better. In Jamestown, they told me you were dead. Dead? No, not me. But you didn't tell me. You didn't write me a letter. Not one letter in eight years, John Smith. But you were a child, Pocahontas. You couldn't read. Well, I can read now, she said angrily. Perhaps I was a child, John Smith, but my father gave you to me that day in my father's village long ago. Do you remember? That day was the beginning of my love for you. He looked at her sadly with those beautiful blue eyes, and she was a child again. She remembered everything. You didn't love me, she said. You never loved me. I don't know about love, he said slowly. You are the daughter of a king, Pocahontas, and I'm not rich or important. I never had a wife. Perhaps I don't understand women. And you were a child, Pocahontas. I was a child, but I loved you, and you went away. She said, For eight years I heard nothing from you. For a long time he said nothing. Then he said, I'm sorry, Pocahontas. I was wrong. I loved you so much, she said sadly. Then the door opened, and her little son Thomas came in. But now I have a son and a husband, she said, and they love me. You and I cannot be friends. Goodbye, John Smith. Goodbye, Pocahontas. He looked at her for a minute and then walked out of the door. She never saw him again. Six months later, John Rolfe said,
We must go back to Virginia, my dear. My work is waiting for me there. And you need the warm sun of Virginia, too. It was true. Pocahontas was now ill, and the cold rain of the English winter was not good for her. But she said nothing and got ready to leave. The ship went down the river from London to a town called Gravesend, near the sea. But when they got there, Pocahontas was very ill, and she could not move. John Rolfe sat by his wife's bed and watched her face sadly. She smiled at him. Goodbye, John. I am going home, home to the forests and rivers of my country. Pocahontas died in Gravesend in March 1617. She is famous for two things. She was the first American woman to marry an Englishman and come to England. And she was a good friend to the English when they first went to Virginia. Her husband, John Rolfe, went back to Virginia and married an Englishwoman there. He died in Virginia in 1622. Pocahontas's son, Thomas, lived with the Rolfe family in England when he was a child, but in 1635 he went to live in Virginia. John Smith did not leave England again. He wrote many interesting books about America, and he wrote about Pocahontas in those books. He lived until 1631, but he never had a wife. Perhaps he could not forget the sad, dark eyes of Pocahontas when she said goodbye to him for the last time.